before. Another hammer. Cheap Life with me, the Vermont Cheap Girl, and this is my daily vlog of 2013. Today, I'm taking a little time out for Old Blue. She's been sitting outside waiting very patiently, and you know, it's about time I spend some time with her. I'm going to replace Old Blue's stock steering system for two reasons. One is, is the tie rod ends are now bad, and this is an excellent time to change and upgrade them. And two, Technically, I should have done this a long time ago once I did my lift and added my lockers. Uh, stock steering systems are not adequate enough to handle the larger tires and the lockers. So doing a heavy duty steering kit will also upgrade my steering system to a one ton capacity without having to change the knuckles over. So I'm pretty psyched about this. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna take a measurement from the center of the tie rod end to the center of the tie rod end and I want to make sure to write that number down because it's going to be important when I go to put the new system together. And I'm measuring from center to center approximately 52 inches. Now, Rugged Ridge's system that they have, I don't know if you can see this on the camera or not, but two ends have a groove in it. One on the tie rod and one on the drag link and there is a line on it. That means that this goes on the left side, which is the passenger side, and this is also going to be a left-handed reverse thread. On these two particular tie rod ends, there's going to be notches inside the gym nuts, and what that means is this is the reverse thread. So both of these are going to go onto our left or passenger side. These nuts here do not have that. They will be going in to our driver's side. Now before we do this, what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of, of Never Seize on the end of our bolts. And we're going to screw them in to the ends. Now that I have my tie rod ends screwed into the tie rod, I'm able to measure from center tie rod to center tie rod on the new one. Thing lined up, and I'm right at 52 where I need to be. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to slide the tie rod over both leaf springs. I'm going to set it in place. Okay, now that I have slid my, my tie rod over the leaf springs, I'm going to now install it on the left side, which would be the passenger side first.
I just set the tie rods in and the member that goes to the pitman arm. I do have my crown nuts on it. What I need to do right now is lock tight the ends down here and make sure that they're tight, the double, the double nuts that they give me. And then I'm going to work on my crown nuts by torquing them down to 60 foot pounds is what they recommend, putting in my cotter pins, and then I can put on my, my I have installed my steering stabilizer with the hardware that came with the kit. I have also greased all the fittings, loctited the gym nuts, and double checked them after I had her lined up. And I am ready now to go on the test drive. I have just completed the Rugged Ridge Heavy Duty Steering Kit for Old Blue. I just took her for a little test drive. I took her up and down the road and I brought her up here up on the back trail. On the road, her steering is tight now. There's no wobble in it. There's no looseness in it. She's nice and tight. I like the way she's handling. I brought her up here in a little different condition on the snow and she's handling great. This was a very easy upgrade for Old Blue and I'm glad that I did it. It comes with a complete set of instructions. I highlighted all the ones that pertain to the YJ and I read them over and over again and then I was able to do my install. If you can turn a wrench and you could read a tape measure, you can do this install. As with any steering component that you change, it's a good idea to take it to an off-road shop and have them do a front end alignment. Join us tomorrow as I take Old Blue over to Meadowy Off-Road Extreme Park over in Granville, New York, and we're gonna really put it to the test. We're gonna go climb on some rocks, the hills, and the awesome terrain that they have over there. CSEoffroad.com for your Jeep accessories and your Jeep parts. Check them out online. Swapping out, <laughs> swapping out Old Blue's stock steering system for Rugged Ridge's heavy duty st steering conversion kit was a great idea. She handles well. I love the way she's tight now on the road and I'm looking forward to many off-roading days with my new kit. Check out cseoffroad.com for all your Jeep accessories and your Jeep parts. Thank you CSE.